Now today we're taking a look at two cyber decks and putting them head to head. Which one is better? The U console by Clockwork Pi or the Pi Edge by Carbon Computers? Let's test them out. So first I feel like you should know what each of these devices are. They're cyber decks used for hacking in my situation, but these could also be just fun consoles for the road if you want to get like Pi 86 on here. I think that's what the game is called. But uh, let's take a closer look. So the first one we're looking at is the U console. Now the U console is metal, has all these buttons, nice display, and this has a Raspberry CM5 in here. Now the fun part with this is you do get to build it, but there are some limitations and some things that really set it back and put it lower on the list. But we're going to go over all of that. Now the second one on our list will be the Pi Edge. Now the Pi Edge, like I said, is made from carbon computers and this is just based off my personal opinions with the devices. So this, as obviously, you can see, is a lot thicker. Now a lot of people don't, I would assume, wouldn't like that. But when I'm typing on here, I think this makes it so much easier, having a good grip like this. And then we have the screen. Now, it's touch screen, which is super nice, and then the U console doesn't have, but this doesn't have a mouse on here. Which is also good, because you could get hacked like that and someone could get control of your computer. Now, it also has all of these ports over here, which are so much better than having one port in and out. And then this has a full Raspberry Pi C or full Raspberry Pi in here. That's why it's so thick. It's got a huge battery. And there's a lot of things that each of these do better than the other. So we're gonna make a little list. The U console versus the Pi Edge. And let's just try it out and see who we think wins. First thing I actually want to test out with these is the system speed. Now they both boot up the same because they're both running Kali Linux. The Pi Edge does go a little faster just because it has a full Raspberry Pi in there and set up a CM5. But some other stuff is like websites. How well do websites run? So let me pull these up. Now, these both have Linux on them, Kali Linux, because I use these for hacking, and I think it's the best for that. Now, just starting, we could see that the U console isn't finding Wi-Fi. And that's because it's in this metal body, aluminum, so that's why we have to have this external antenna. Now, the Pi Edge does not have this problem because it is 3D printed. When it comes to build quality, it does kind of get a point, but it kind of depends on multiple factors. See, I'm still, I forgot, no touch screen. So I'm not even picking up Wi-Fi. So let's try this again. So let's just see how long the loading time is for each of these. Enter. Now we can already see this one's already, oh my God, you're offline. That is crazy. That's not a good look for the U console. But just like that, we could see everything is running actually just perfectly on the actual Pi Edge itself. Go ahead, enter here. But I don't know what's going on with this guy. It really says it's connected to Wi-Fi one second, and the next it's not. So, I mean, on to round two. How easy is it to use? So right now, we're at Carbon Computers 1 point out of 5. So this is super easy to use. You can get Windows on it, and of course, it'll be a lot easier than if you have something like Kali Linux on it. But I mean, just getting around, it's a lot. It's super easy with the actual mouse and the buttons and this placement right here. I just feel like that's a big one, especially with this right here. You can go up and down. But on the actual Pi Edge, you have you have none of that really, and you have to move around like, or you have to move around with these buttons down here, and then I mean down like here. Not like I'm talking bad about either of these, but obviously you console gets the point here for how easy it is to use, and I feel like this is definitely something they could account for in the actual Pi Edge itself. Now I do know that this is more of a hacker tool. It has no speakers, so it can't be hacked. It has no mouse. I can't be mouse jacked by NRF24. So you can really look at it two ways. But I do think with this setup here, with this bar at the top, is really cool. Another super important thing to talk about here is battery life. If you're taking this on the go, do you want it to be charged for a long time? Well, obviously you do. You don't want it to be dead in like one second. So with this, it uses, as I've heard it called, vape batteries. It uses these two batteries, these two, like, lithium ion battery, not lithium ion even, the ones you put in your remote, just bigger, like big double A batteries. Um, that's, I guess, good if you want to get through an airport, because when you have something like this with the LiPo battery, it can get a lot more attention. But this battery is thick. I've seen it. It takes up like this area back here. And when it comes to battery life, I mean, that obviously just goes to the Pi Edge, because this guy, they both have backlit keyboards. I just find that even with the U console itself, I feel like the battery's always draining. Now the Pi Edge is at two points, and the U console is at one. But we're gonna get another point here for U console. Now, community. The U console has so many videos behind it, tutorials, things you could add on here. 
And it's just really not the same with the Pi Edge. I know the clockwork has really brought this thing to life. Every hacker has one. But, I mean, that's kind of why we're bringing around the Pi Edge, because not many people know about it. That's why I'm out here promoting it. And I do think it is a better tool. So, that will go to U Console. So, right now we're 2 2, and for the final point. So, right now we're at 2 2. And the last one's gonna be stealthiness. Now, you can look at it like, oh, I'm stealthy while I'm hacking, or like, I'm stealthy while I'm hacking. And even though both devices are running Linux, I just think the Pi Edge is better for being stealthy, because it's more open. Like, as you can see, it has all these ports here for Wi Fi adapters, all the stuff you would need at one time if, if you're doing multiple stuff. Here, you just have one port. And. I think that is such a problem with this, and I feel like that's just going to take the win for this. Like, it lets you customize every part of the device, especially because it's 3D printed. You can make your own case. You could add stuff in here if you want to. I know they have the Panda Latte, but that's it for our video, guys. I mean, if you have a U console, I would deeply recommend the Pi Edge, as this thing is very neat. From Carbon Computers, and use code ILIA10 for 10% off, but in the meantime... I'm going to have to stick with this guy. I've been taking it everywhere I go just because it's so small. I mean, let me see. Even compared to my phone, it's only a little bit bigger. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm not talking crap on anything. If you have a U console, awesome. It's a great tool. If you have a Pi Edge, even better. That is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Go join my Discord, ages 13 and 17. See you guys next time. Bye.